Hi guys, thanks for coming to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time here, you are welcome. And on today's video guys, I am going to give you five ways to fix your Zazu cell. So if you're having zero day sales on your Zazu store, so keep watching this video, I'll give you some of the five tips that I do use that is going to help you with your Zazu sale. And also if you are in your Zazu journey and you're struggling to find out which product to sell, how to run successful Zazu business, I do have my Zazu blueprint guide, which you can download. It's going to help you with popular product, popular niche, low and high items, things to do in order to build and run successful Zazu store. So you can go ahead and download those guides on the link under the description description of this video hopefully is going to help you and guys I would like to hear your feedback how I can help and assist you in any way that I can and I'm not saying that I know all the tips regarding running Zazu but we are all here to learn and to share so do leave your comment under the, this video that other people also can learn from what you have learned on Zazu if you are on your Zazu journey so in today's video so these are the five uh, tips that is going to help you regarding your Zazu store if you're not um, getting any sale. Hopefully this is going to make a difference in your sales. Like I always say, don't give up. Keep pushing yourself and hopefully you're going to arrive on your destination. So on today's um, first tip I'm going to share with you is that uh, firstly, if you notice that you're not getting any sales at all, it, this could be one of the reasons. It's either sometimes is your title and your tagging is might not be correct because uh, title and tagging is so important. One way to know that if your title and tagging is correct, uh, when you uh, design a, a product, you upload the design on the product on Zazu platform. When you publish it, always check at the bottom where the product is at the bottom to see if you can see similar product to what you have designed it is showing at the bottom. Let's say, for example, you designed it a flower wedding invite pink color pink watercolor so see at the bottom when you publish your product if a similar product it's coming along alongside your product so when you upload uh, publish your product at the bottom you go there and check see if similar products are aligned with what you also have uploaded that will give you like an indication that you are on the right uh, uh, Zazu uh, marketplace, uh, um, marketplace, and also is give you an indication that is a I'm seeing similar item. But if you like, let's say you design uh, invites, and then you check at the bottom, it's showing like a coffee mugs, it's showing like a note uh, notebooks. It's just you, 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 something is not right. It's either you have to go in and uh, fix the title and. Uh, the tagging so so the customer when they search for the item they can find it and they can find it because you copy you put the title and the tagging correctly because that is so important because when the customer comes on Zazu platform they are typing things when they are typing certain words that is how you put your product gets pulled up on the system so make sure your title and your tagging is done correctly and the second thing also you need to start to make sure make sure you're doing make sure you're designing for your niche do you understand the niche is like are you on the wedding niche are you on bachelor are you on the baby shower um, what niche are you focusing which particular area category that you are focusing on when you identify the niche that you are focusing on make sure you're giving the customer within that particular niche the the ideal kind of the design that they want so it's like the product that they want so let's say that the put the customer in the just example let's say you're designing for businesses and schools and you're designing coffee mugs for teachers, for bosses, and people to give the boss, for employees, things like that. You're designing stuff like that. So they, that is your niche, but you need to know like uh, what style are they looking for when it comes to the coffee mug. If I'm going to be designing on those, doing coffee mug, I'm doing pens, rollers, notebook, what type of the design, what type of the colors that they are searching for within that niche? Because you can get the, you can be on the popular niche, 
but if like the design that you are that you are providing in that niche it does not meet that uh, particular customer's demand you are not going to make sale so you need to make sure that you get you you get you find your niche but you need to make sure that you give them what they are looking for within that niche so if i'm making a coffee mug okay is the coffee mug for the teachers do am i making just with is it are they looking for slogans is it just uh, teachers with a, a name or pictures is it is it a funny words so these all things you going to know all this information just within the zazu platform and also using pinterest and google trying to see what is going on because uh, on Zazu itself, it's going to give you certain keywords when you type in coffee marks. You're going to see words, sentence, words is going to pop up. Those words is going to say sometimes funny, sometimes saying slogan, sometimes you might say name, cute, pretty, stylish. So that is like what is the customer is looking for. It could be like a uh, a teacher is looking for coffee mug, cute, girly, pink coffee, teacher coffee mug. So you need, as a designer, you need to come into conclusion. Okay, I see these words cute, pink, elegant, stylish. So which means they are looking for this type of a product. How am I going to design this particular product and make it into that coffee mug so it looks cute and girly and pink? So do you understand what I'm saying? So it's all about... Um, giving the customer what they want most of people when they are on the zazu platform most of the time you i see people saying no oh how do i get more sale and i notice even my, my videos the one way i talk about increasing your sales it gets more viewed than others so the reason be most of the people most of the time if you're not getting those sales it's mainly because of the title and the tags and also you are in a niche but you you don't know what those uh, clients are looking for because being a niche is fine but you need to know what i do they want that's why you have to do a research do you understand so because if you don't do the research it's very hard for you can be in a most popular niche or even not popular niche but you're just not going to make sell because they can see the because as a customer they can come and see your product but it's not the cute pink they are looking for it's not the elegant stylish names they are looking for so it just is not going to work so you make sure that your title taggings and do a research of what the customer do they want what do they need because that's the whole point our customer is coming to shop there is because they want something very specific so you need to meet that demand and number three you need to also make sure that you have a a category in your store so a category that is well organized because when you yourself is going to help you when you're making more product every month or every week whenever you make new product you know exactly where to put each item so it's not like a scattered everywhere in your it's not everywhere in your store that you you put any product anyhow so you need to be organized within your store and also it helps Zazu system to really allocate your store be based on how it's well organized so it also helped them even to push you out there because they know that this store is well organized they can see yeah, they have this category they have that category they have categories in the store so that is also one way you also is going to help you get those sales and then number five is um give customer the option to personalize their own stuff because most of the people who come to Zazu, most of the customers they come to Zazu is because they have that option to put their own detail. You can have a template for a wedding invite. The customer can come in and put the things the way they want it. There you can have that coffee mug notebook. The customer can come in, they don't want that flower, they want to remove that one flower, they just want to keep one flower, they want to put the name in a certain way, they can do that. So you need to make sure that you give them the personal personalized option because within as you have the option to give a personalized option or not to. So make sure you have clicked or uh, the, uh, the option for you for the customer to be able to change things when they want it unless you are a, a certain type of uh, artist or designer you just really want your product the way it is you don't want to change it and you do have your own 
client base that you're going to start to buy your stuff that is completely different but if you're like uh, wanting to make money within the Zazu customers there's the customer who already exist in Zazu platform giving them an option to option to personalize the item it's a really great idea because if they can, they don't want that uh, particular flower or those two flowers they just want one instead of them leaving your product going to another somebody else they have that option just to remove that flower or to remove the name to just leave one flower just blank like that so it's just up to them so if you try to fix these stuff because it may seem simple but it plays a part do you understand most of the time is most of the, the, the design and as as maybe they think like uh, or oh, Zazu is a bad platform, or oh, Zazu is not working for me, or oh, it's just I don't get it, what is going on? It's the problem most of the time when why you look at other people. So if they are really struggling with sell, it has to do with uh, not meeting the customer demand, or either your title and tags, or either when you're designing uh, those particular style for that particular customer you're not putting the customer first you're designing it because maybe you like it and you assume that because you like it everyone else like it you assume that those customers they're also going to like it but it doesn't work like that you just have to make sure that um, you're giving the customer what they want you know the customer has to come first your design to you may be amazing great fantastic but make sure instead of you just sticking to uh, say one particular color because i only do this particular design in this purple you just go into sticking purple no give the customer what they are looking for when you start providing the customer what they're looking for their customers are also willing to open up the wallet and also give you what they want which is for them to purchase and make a may payment for that particular item so guys hopefully these tips is going to help you try to go in your store analyze and see if you can fix uh, certain things that i have pointed out and guys hopefully that is going to make a difference and uh, like i always say zazu is not a get rich scheme fast scheme you need to give it some time and also you have to be consistent you need to adapt and also you need to learn and know how the platform work because one thing i also notice most of uh, question that i do get people think like zazu is the same as uh, most of the platform like redbubble i'd say amazon but zazu is completely different it doesn't work like that because recently there was a question i was getting from uh, one of my followers i think she was saying that uh, uh, tell me which are the most uh, popular niche or is of populate niche we where should i focus on it's not uh, about being on popular or unpopular niche it's all about uh, meeting the demand of the customer because you can be on a popular niche but you might not be making sale because you're not meeting that uh, demand of the customer that's why you have to do research what is going on what do they want so that is the way it, you can go and check uh, uh, type in coffee mug or notebook and then you see ten thousand of results don't don't be afraid don't allow that to put you off because most of people who have those 10,000 or over whatever uh, the result of notebooks are on the Zazu platform, you find majority of time, sometimes most of them, they're not making money, they're not making the sales. You might ask again, but why when there's so much of them, it's already there, I'm scared to even put my own design. But because majority of the time you find people are just uh, putting product up, but it, they, they are not intentional. You have to be intentional. You have to give the customer what type of the notebook are they looking for, okay? So what is the style do they want? So you can upload as many as notebooks you want, but if it's not what a customer is looking for, they are not going to buy it. So it has nothing to do with uh, being on unpopular or in, not popular or oversaturated uh, niche. It has nothing to do with that. It has all to do with tagging title and researching you ideally, your ideally, the niche you are focusing on, what those customers really want. If you give them what they want, they will also give you what you want. So guys, hopefully this video has given you some advice and some tips and so go ahead download my size blueprint guide hopefully that is also going to help you to to shine up some in light with popular niches popular 
products uh, to give you some ideas so guys uh, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel go ahead subscribe i try to load videos every week or every month whenever possible to share with you tips and advice and also you can go ahead on a comment give you uh, other people tip also so they can also learn from you because we are all here to learn and also to share i'll see you next video bye bye for now